So again, compatibility with the signal strength. Our overall best fit is 0.8, uh, but they're consistent in 7 and 8 uh, TEV samples. Not significant. This shows the distribution across the various channels and sub-channels, the scatter around that uh, 0.8. This is uh, 7 and 8 TV data combined. Now we go to a little bit tighter combinations. These are the five channels I showed you and how they distribute. And this is showing the, two, the four different production modes. So untagged, VBF tagged, associated production, and then TT bar Higgs, which I won't go into, but a result will be presented at, at ICHEP. And we're getting some sensitivity there better than we had expected as well. So everything is, uh, is pretty much self-consistent across the topologies, but it's very early. Uh, keep that in mind. What we looked at, too, was uh, how well the W, w and ZZ channels are, uh, are performing relative to each other, because you expect custodial symmetry, and you find, in fact, that the ratio is 0.9 with large errors. So it's consistent. And then uh, we looked at the couplings themselves in a scan of the vector Boseley coupling and the fermion uh, coupling. This also just came out, I think, last night, so it's very early. <clears throat> and it's pretty much in agreement with the uh, standard model at 95% confidence level. Standard models here, this is what we're measuring. So it's a bit off, but again, we need more data. Okay, so to wrap up, in summary, we've seen this. We've seen this. We calculate this. We lose the page number. <clears throat> and we've conclude by saying that we have observed a new, new boson with a mass of 125.3 plus or minus 0.6 GV at 4.9 standard deviations. Thank you. <laughs> one, one minute. I wanted to show a few, can I show a few acknowledgments? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you on behalf of CMS. <clears throat> I wanted to acknowledge a few people. First of all, there were many, many things that have been done by the theoretical community in standard model predictions that have been just spot on over the years. It's a tribute to a huge amount of work done for all the accelerators by many theorists. We thank also the Higgs Cross-Section Working Group and, of course, the five gentlemen, uh, I'm sorry, six, um, who, who contributed to the theory. This is actually the electro uh, theory itself and electro symmetry breaking and Higgs theory. Um, thanks also to all the people involved in the accelerator groups, all of the DGs who have been involved. It took five, six DGs to get here, actually, which is pretty amazing. Um, it's an incredible project. I will, I'll let you read this on its own. Um, I, here's, a, here's a picture of all the spokesmen I think are in here from all the experiments over the years. And um, again, CMS Collaboration, who worked like crazy to get these results done in this time, which is, a, I think, a phenomenal record considering we stopped taking data two weeks ago. So I thank them all. Hope they all sleep well tonight. These are all of the institutes in CMS. We have 3,300 scientists. I'd like to thank. I'm almost done. Uh, thanks to all of our funding agencies. And I also wanted to say one last thing. I would like to thank the member states of, of CERN. I can say this. I'm not from a member state, but I think it's extraordinary that they have opened CERN up and these projects to all countries in the world. And uh, that's a magnificent thing because these results are now global and shared by all, all of mankind, I think. So I thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. We'll leave the mic on. Okay.